Hey guys, hope you're having a great day today. Today's restaurant is Namakaze and it's located on Nimitz where Nico's Pier is, if you know that restaurant. And if you don't know that restaurant, it's right across from the Eagle Cafe and all those um, shops on Nimitz. Um, right between where the street, Alakava Street, which is where uh, Best Buy and Home Depot and Costco are and between Waikamilo over there. So um, this is a brand new Okazuya place. Um, they serve also fish, fresh fish and pokes. It's uh, using the old uncle's fish market restaurant that used to be over there, uh, right next to the Pop Marine uh, shop and the Hawaiian ice distributor. So I got two dishes. I didn't really get any Okazuya stuff, um, but I got their Papa Boy Poke Bowl. So you can make different Poke Bowls and they have different names for them. So the Hapa Boy is pretty much a um, typical Poke with your Ogo, which is your Limu uh, seaweed. Got a little bit of cucumber in there and it's got some onion and sesame seed oil and shoyu. It also comes with sushi rice on the bottom and a little bit of Namasu looks like, which is the cabbage. So let's dig in. You can see these are really big cuts of tuna, ahi. You can pick your fish. They got salmon, hamachi, and others. Um, I picked ahi. Mmm. Real good. Nice sesame seed oil flavor. I don't like too much of it, but a good balance of it. A lot of um, seasoning. Show you uh, Hawaiian chili pepper in there. And I also taste some inamona, which is kukui nut, which is awesome. Take a piece with some onion. Nice fresh flavors going on. They also pride themselves off of fish. They're also branding themselves as an izakaya at night. So you can go there for some fresh fish and some drinks. I'm assuming if you're an izakaya. Let's take a taste of the rice on the bottom. You know, I'm not an expert at sushi rice at all because I don't like things that are too vinegary, but I like it. I can taste the vinegar, but it's not too over overwhelming like some places make. But if you like that really vinegary taste, you might not approve of it. I'm not sure, but I like it. It complements the fish and it's not too overpowering with the vinegar. I also like that the sushi rice is not too hot. It's uh, not cold as in refrigerator cold, but it's not lukewarm either. So it's not gonna cook your fish. Like some people put uh, your raw fish right on top of the hot rice and it kind of ruins your poke, but this is really good. So in this Hapa Boy mix, they have um, sliced cucumbers as well as the onions. So we'll take a taste of that to see what it tastes like all together with the fish. I will say it cleanses the palate very fresh, like a cucumber should be. Kind of balances out the heat. This does taste quite spicy. There is a lot of Hawaiian chili pepper in this. So if you're not into spicy things, you might not want to get the Hapa Boy. They have other uh, interesting poke bowls like miso garlic poke, which I find interesting as well. So there are other options for you if you don't like spicy things. All right, let's try this side of cabbage. Nice and crisp. It's soaked in shoyu, so it's got a little bit of savory saltiness to it. There's a little bit of a mixture of uh, some kelp in there. Um, it's nice, gives it a texture um, contrast with the soft poke. So I like that crunch with it. Very good. On the side here, they also have some of the pickled ginger. Actually, they give a lot. So um, that goes nice with it as well. Not too much of a fan of uh, the pickled ginger. I think it's a little bit um, overwhelming for my taste buds anyway, but for those that really like uh, pickled ginger, they give you plenty of it. I think the portion of fish is pretty generous. They've got, you know, lots of fish and the rice is proportionate with it. So they're not giving you too, too much rice, but just enough to eat everything with it. I didn't get any shots of the inside because you can order in person, but it takes a while. So I ordered via their Toast app 
you can go online and do it without signing up or download the app on your phone and order it that way. And it was ready uh, within the specified time, so it kind of was perfect for me to order it, then drive here, and it was ready. And when I walked in, it was already ready. Um, the lady was on it, service was quick, and she gave me my package right away. So I didn't really get time to film in there. But it's a pretty big space, um, if you remember Uncle's Fish Market, and um, it's got numerous tables if you want to dine in, I suppose. Um, very clean in there, but it does smell like a fish market because they are processing fish for these dishes. So um, it does smell fishy in there, I'm just gonna warn you, but not in a bad way. It's just that fresh fish smell. All right, for that Hoppa Boy Poke Bowl, it was $14.95, quite high, but I think that they give you fresh fish um, caught probably right off the boat, the docks right there for all the fishing boats. And I thought it was a pretty generous portion of a Poke Bowl. If you do get the salmon uh, poke or different types of poke, it is much less. I believe the ahi poke bowl is the highest priced poke bowl. All right, next up I ordered the nami, which is one of their featured uh, fish bowls, sashimi. Um, it's got some fried shrimp, some spicy ahi, salmon, hamachi, and ahi tuna. They do give you your packets of aloha shoyu, some people might not like that. They like kikoman for their fish, but they do have a generous portion of wasabi to mix with your sashimi. So I will pour it in there. All right, where to start? It looks beautiful. Um, let's try the shrimp. It looks like it kind of got soggy already, unfortunately, but this is their fried shrimp. Has a little bit of crunch left, but did get soggy because I drove here and it took some time, but I like the breading on it. It's very delicious. Actually, this shrimp is super good. I really like the seasoning on it. It's very flavorful. And I would imagine it'd be super bomb if it was like super crispy, but that's my fault for taking too long to get here. So pretty much that shrimp, you get two pieces of the fried shrimp. All right, I guess next we'll try the uh, spicy ahi. It's chopped up fine like this. Really good. Not too mayo-y though, but they have the same sushi rice right underneath all your fish. And same thing, the rice is your sushi rice and it's not too hot so it won't uh, ruin your fish on the top. And I think the spicy ahi is a pretty generous um, amount. Okay, let's try the uh, salmon next. That's one of my favorite sashimi fish or sushi fish. Um, pretty thin cut though, but let's put some wasabi and shoyu on it. Nice and fresh. And what I like is even though I picked it up, everything's still cold like it should be. It's not lukewarm and it's chilled fish. So uh, very fresh fish and delicious. All right, up next is hamachi, which is not usually served in a bowl like this and it's one of the better fishes to eat sashimi with so I'm kind of surprised that they gave a piece. Just melts in your mouth. Very clean flavors, very fresh. Really really good. And then the last fish in this bowl is the ahi tuna. You get two cuts of it. I think they're pretty good reasonable cuts. Thick cuts, they're not too thin like the other fishes were. Um, looks very fresh and delicious. Try it out. Again, clean flavors. You can tell it's not frozen by the way the chew is. Also just kind of melts in your mouth. Not like frozen ahi. It's a and there's no grizzle. They do the good cuts of it. Really delicious. And I noticed on the underside of the fish you got some shredded fresh cabbage, which I like because all the juices and the shoyu, if you put it on, absorb it. I also like it in like plate lunches where maybe your teriyaki sauce or something like your chicken katsu sauce soaks up the uh, sauces. I like that cabbage. And um, you also got the namasu cabbage that was also in the hoppa boy next to it. So all in all, very good. Um, still got the uh, spicy ahi to finish off. 
but very delicious fresh fish if you're looking for a kind of upscale poke bowl or sashimi bowl this is the place to go uh, unfortunately i didn't get any of their okazuya but tasting that shrimp which is also on their okazuya menu um, i would imagine all their fried items taste awesome they also have uh, ginger fried chicken so that breading on that fried shrimp was out of this world that was really good um, so next time if i come here and get some Okazuya stuff, I would definitely get that fried shrimp on the side with a uh, spam musubi or something like that. So for the nami bowl, it's quite pricey, but you get all that sashimi and different fishes and the spicy ahi poke. It is $18.95. Quite pricey, but I think it's pretty filling. It's a pretty big poke bowl compared to other people's. This is my hand. I don't have the biggest hand, but pretty big. My head. So definitely try out this new place, Namikaze. Very good food. Um, if you're looking for a cheaper item, you can go get their okazuya. They also have boxes that are pre-made uh, that have certain things, almost like a bento, but it's an okazuya box. And they have stuff like, it's called the kawaii boy. It's got their fried chicken, a bunch of musubis in it, and other things, other items that you can just take to the beach and enjoy. So until next time, support your local mom and pop shop. And I'll see you again. Take care, have a good weekend. Peace out. Aloha.